adding to my statements, I've had to do this a couple times because of storage on my phone. Um, going through everything, um, if they go back to July of September of 19, the rape and torture, the man that was smothering white hair, I mean, white, he was white with black stubbly hair, dark eyes, white t-shirt, black collar, and a brown beaded necklace. He was the one smothering while the agent was punching me in my private area. If they go to Mwamba between February to April 1st, I had bought a prepaid Visa card to get money off of it. I, there was a stalker that had harassed me before. He, um, I seen him over a hundred feet ahead of me. I went in and bought something. I forgot that car number. Crap. Well, the guys would follow me around during the day. And if I went back down to Walmart a lot of times, they wouldn't follow me. Not smart, but they didn't. Um, so I could go down and get a sweet tea or go down to Walmart. It's not smart to leave me alone. Um, he was over a hundred feet ahead of me. I thought, well, I'll get it. The register, you know, prepaid registers and get out real quick. Well, um, I look up and he's there sleeping, giving me a death stare. White stubbly hair, black stubbly hair, dark. And it was dangerous. That's how much they were wrapped up in those tweets. That's how not funny any of this is. If they pulled the one tape of where I bought that prepaid visa and then the rape, I think that agent will see the stuff. The agent follows me to the bank truck, threatened to arrest me in front of a thousand people where they sold hogs. The guy in my church yelled him what he did was considered rape. And there's like a thousand people in my church that night. They're all turned around. He's pointing at me, screaming. And the guy in my church took care of what he did was considered rape. You leave her alone. Then it buried cheese for white women in the main room under tape and audio. Heavy set, two of them in rows turn around. He said, if you open your mouth again, he'll do it to you again. I wanted to stay quiet because I was going to turn him in. When I moved down here, a little boy ran in front of me and that's Chris Park. Can we have cash now? And that's what mm -hmm. done with her. After what happened to daddy, they said they killed my son. And I got a prepaid phone and video statements. And then where people knew what they knew, I made a copy of it. <clears throat> so I was going to turn them in. And I had already told them what happened when I was alone. And if they do anything, I want to... I, Moved down here, I sat it. A man came up me and said, Stop talking about my son. I thought they were in the middle of the night, right before the rape and torture, 1239 North Chapel. A bunch of silver cars are in the middle of the night. They're screaming. I look out the window. You can't beat a single woman by herself. She talks to herself too much about what happened. We can't have her stated. And I thought they were trying to scare me. They beat my torches. And we were all so funny. I had my eyes that knocked me into a railing. And he had damaged my ribcage and my intestines because he couldn't find me. He was so pissed he beat the shit out of me on the stairs. 
and left me with inflammation in my intestines and a damaged rib cage. He chicken me my arms, knocked me in the wood rail, and punched me to the both fist in the stomach. Um, and then he did that shitty stuff, squeezing my face till I was black, and then buckling my ribs. Good luck finding a man that won't hit you in the ribs. Um, I told him there's good men out there, don't have women get out of my room. So, uh, he, um, <clears throat> he, <coughs> he's, um, my ribs were damaged, they were even buckled at one point. They were uneven. Um, that night I hadn't slept in a long time. I took off my neck and was up to my roll over the material work. And I thought I'd take it off off to sleep. It worked. I fell deep asleep. I woke up to arms above head, smothered with a pillow, punched him until I passed out. Set her up. They poured something in my mouth, and when I went to swallow, they smeared it on my face, and it paralyzed me. And I still said no. And the guy at the end of the bed, if she don't state it, do it to her again. And they started till I finally just said what I and it's already common knowledge that the church people broke in before drug me and told me to say weirdo stuff. I didn't know it because they drug me. May 25th, the old crew was talking about it in mm-hmm. Wendy's. Um, little old lady on the other street where they're bragging what they did. They literally, um, little old lady screamed at him for the whole neighborhood to hear. That's not funny what the church people that breaking in before drugging her and telling her to say where to and going on for the whole neighborhood to hear. My car is about the chips. They give all the login to every at least 50 miles around. They all are. And the crew was speaking of it in front of my, my client. And it scared him so bad I couldn't work for him for about a month because he was afraid to be seen with me. Um. And then looking through old text messages. That uh, Dave said something about tainting. Why is texting that? And how could you taint me if I'm texting? And he changed the online bank information on account he wasn't on. And then I thought about the Derek G. Sycophant. He was furious. I got rid of him. They dropped me. What causes amnesia in your life? Google that. Fentanyl. Fofofo. Density. What's fentanyl? The Derek G. Sick. Name brand. Oh, yeah, this. Some of my own. I'm so. And I'd be high as a gun. And I'd have no reason. Permanent amnesia. But I figured it out. Maybe in the next building over her and their kids because my house is good. They sold the login. They were laughing. They came outside. It's funny. She finally figured it out. It was Dave that drugged her and told her to say it. It's so funny. Then they're laughing. And it's like my car spot. You know, it's a pretty good hair. Well, the other last week, a man with a cat showed up. They took him around the corner and they were saying it's so loud for everybody to hear him. They did wreck her and tell her to say it. A week ago, a man showed up and said, I feel bad about everything. Did you know he felt an older and told her to say it? No, we just found out. Yeah, right. He didn't know they told her that they already knew those kids, that they were lying. Yeah, they did. October 23rd, 2019, fluff fell rats of course that never happened. Of course that wasn't true. We made it up. It was a game of pretend. That was so hard. She couldn't suck her lips in. There's a video of it. The new and like The documentary. And now they're trying to make it fast fuck off. I don't know. Up in Ravenna, they said Dave made a big mistake. He made a mistake in a big one. That's all I said. And if she don't want to move out, he can't throw her out. He has to put up with her living there after he made that big mistake. Well, I thought it was the eight hole Dixie. There was gunfire. They went to the wrong house and I was target practice. 
I always said I could handle most of the fight. Where was an FBI investigation? Police and hire were taping to his estate. They picked it up. That they killed those men. For a moment, when they got home, the assassins showed up outside my room. And where I And there's a tape and audio of how they killed them. And people have said they really died. That was really sick. Now they can also go to Walmart after the shooting. Within a few months, young African American agents drug We stayed out of the gunshot line and they're talking about. Young African American guys with dreads. An older white guy, gray hair, mustache, making fun of me. They stayed out of it and let them shoot. And here I was going to turn them into me. I was raped and tortured and wanted to stay quiet. 12, 21, 18. I was stabbed in the neck at the refrigerator. I had a doctor's appointment. I thought it was earlier in the case, but it was. I had went down to meet Darlene for pie on the 16th. There was a weird man that was bald at Bob Evans in North Canton, Belgium, with a red hair, big guy, and a blonde lady that pretended she was a psychiatrist and some men. Now, if he was really an FBI agent, he would have came up and said that, and he said he was a handler, and he would have showed me his badge and said, Karen, if you need me, you call me. You know, still trying to find somebody to see. Whoa. And that's enough psychiatrist. She's more in love with Dave than anybody. He must be doing her, too. Um, I didn't have the check. And the 21st. I had a doctor's appointment. I was in no call rush. I had went to the refrigerator, opened it, and stabbed in the neck. Woke up six hours later. Hair missing, hair straight up, another man's skull on a dresser, and Dave's accusing me of having an affair. And I didn't know what happened. Down at Walmart after that, on 62, there is men with cell phones being implanted in our job. I thought I'm crazy. People don't do that. They do. They follow me around with the cell phones. It feeds into people's Bluetooth. It's horrifying. They outlawed all this. 2005 U.S. Supreme Court, 18 101 311 Circuit, put 33 agents in jail for nerve and beat, rape, torture, and drug and then the Justice for Victims of Torture as America was created. Um, there was an agent that went to Apostolic Church of Barberton, Paul Pamers, the minister, um, before I called Paul back. He was, has black hair, dark eyes, black glasses, late 30s, early 40s. Uh, he had to show him badge. But the payment's not stupid. He freaked out bad enough. He got in Dave's face. My God. I had an FBI agent in my office. He's right there. I walk off real quick. See, I didn't know Dave was taping me unaware. Having people do it in my home. And they didn't have a court on them. That's a lie. They were legally doing it. And, uh... I didn't know, and um, they could only get me wiping some water off somewhere with gloves on. That's stupid to suggest to yourself you didn't expose yourself, you're good. Okay, weirdos. But it's not funny that they stopped their tapes and he had fentanyl me and told me to say stuff. And some of the guys were complaining 
that it was supposed to even be a sex stuff. I'm like, I, I may not be a bad party. I may not have a problem with someone, but I'm not gay. I don't care if you're gay. You can love whoever you want. You can worship whoever you want. I take and accept everybody for who they are inside. But I'm not gay. I, I didn't hurt anybody. It's a document. I mean, game of pretend. People can have some mass on police or the police in the courthouse have done a call to boys. Um, they would tell you it's a document. I mean, game of pretend. And now they think because they had even Michelle's dirty friends break in and stab me with needles. FBI don't use sodium pentothal. It's a folklore that it's a uh, true serum. Um, it's an old wise tale. It's anesthesia. People have admitted to luring, falsely admitting to luring children, falsely confessed crimes to, falsely confessed to Pearl Harbor. Questioner gets what they want, right or wrong. Um, it's just anesthesia, but it's lethal. Um, and they put animals down with it and humans. It's that lethal. I talk to police and prosecutors. They don't use it. We know. Think about it. Why would you use something that's lethal and you lie under it? They wouldn't. They don't drug anybody. We know. And they don't use the nerve chip. The last 33 agents went to jail for 20 years. Now, there was a scenario up in Ravenna. It was crazy stuff going on around me all the time. On top of stalkers and shooters, these people were acting ridiculous. They um, said uh, there was a bet between two gentlemen. One said he could make me quit praying, give up my faith in God, and give up everything in life. The other man said you couldn't do it. He said, I can even get others to participate, although they help her. It'll be a social experiment. That better not be what's going on. There's been a great many people that have helped out. And if it is, then they're thinking it's okay for the government to nourish of you. Beat, rape, and torture you when it was outlawed in 2005 when history repeats itself because people think it's all right that's the biggest mistake the nazis did this to the jews they stole everything they had in life for selfish gain they beat raped tortured them ran experiments on them and they murdered them And people thought it was all right because they dehumanized him. We live in the greatest country on earth. Our nation was founded on freedom and civil rights. And that our government couldn't hurt its people. And we're, we enjoy such wonderful freedoms of living our lives in peace. When we see other nations hurting its own, we load up our military and we invade and attack and save people that we have never met nor do own. When we cost them the life of our own, they come back in caskets or missing. Think of the men that died in North Korea, Afghanistan. World War One and Two, Kuwait, Vietnam, Desert Storm, Thing of our great nation and the great cost of our own. We live in an amazing country, and what they're doing is so appalling and nauseating that other people participate in it. And they can't say, we didn't know he got lost her before, or they broke in and drugged her before. Encompassing does not work. 
because they could have knocked on the door. Karen, I'm agent so-and-so. Here's my badge of Miranda. We'd like to know about this tape. And I say, what tape? Exactly. They're trying to kill you. They got stalkers. They've drugged you. It's a severe cult. You've almost been shot driving. They're after your daughter-in-law and your other son. We need to get you out of here. That's what should have happened. Not putting a time bomb in my head to die for bastards that are going to kill a two-year-old that I tried. And my son and his wife by messing with their vehicle. The Maslin police have worked almost the whole case because there was a hit on Dixie's life within less than a week or two within the case term. And they've watched them and their vehicles have got tampered with greatly. Backfires blow smoke and Josh was clear up on the highway and his whole car blew up. They have just the lug nuts off so their tire come off driving and loosened again. Tires flat and slashed. Inner bolts and brake systems removed so they pull forward his tires will explode. Um, I was down there a lot. And with less than an hour, somebody came and swiped, sideswiped the car that was in front of their house. These people are not me. When I moved out, I was working somewhere and I seen church people in the parking lot. I went to go to lunch. And my tire had a four inch hole in and out all the way through the, not the bottom. But yeah, if they go back to Walmart between February and the 1st of April, there's a that white guy with the black stuff air and your guts. You can get his picture and compare him to the ones. I can only see his face for a second in between the suffocation. I think it's the same guy. It's so horrifying. Down at John's church, there was a heavy set white girl. She had black hair, sometimes tinted in purple red. She walked by me once, she looked at her phone, she scowled at me, she looked at me, scowled at me. And she walked off and I'm like, they sell me this to know where I'm at. And sure enough, someone came up the front but an agent that was corrupt came up, what do you expect wearing that nice coat and those clothes in front of poor people? She sold it, but she couldn't even afford me. I cried for life to save my life. I was really My ex, I'm in some of them, paying people to know where I was. Someone was talking around me, and they were doing it as little as 250 to $500. I was being sold for the price of a dog to be killed or stuff. more hurt and pain in life from these people that are cropped in allowing these animals to hurt me. Yeah, they knew I was innocent. Most of them was considered fucking shit. And they knew they tricked me. They can't fool anybody. I'm glad a few people with integrity when people are showing up with badges are telling the truth. They drugged her and told her to leave. I didn't know they did that. And then they passed out where I was nourished. The cell phones for people to play with my mind. It's my control. I just say, type something in and then look at you. Now I got you. Now you know. Mind control. I just since 2005. Nobody wants a government to 
crap your phone put cell phones in their head. You die of foot and fingers. You don't want it. And it was held out in 2005. Justice for victims of torture and terrorization. And what is ridiculous? Lois and her documented lies and new games of pretend. People are like, they're going to give her money. I'm like, for lying? Does Melissa have men jousters? Seriously. It's one thing if you make up mean jokes. And it's another thing when you won't give it up. And you know nothing bad happened to your kids. And then you, you're trying to extort money out of her. I know she goes to that severe cult. But does she have men jousters? I mean, it's ridiculous. And then, as if she just trying to raise more money to kill more people. Don't ever give them money. It was a documented giggle, giggle, giggle. The lady at Dollar General, the government just needs to pick her up this time. And then one kid said, well, I thought you guys said to tape her. Don't matter for her. I already ratted them out. They were lying. Two years ago. And don't like they didn't know it. Anyway. Yeah. Part of the case was pushing people to suicide. I don't believe in suicide. I find these people highly annoying. I may eat chocolate or smoke when they get to me. Cigarettes only. Um, but that's it. and coffee um but and maybe some kind of sweets but I'm a girl I don't deal with bastards very well and I will not die quietly for bastards some idiot went to say something about me at Mercy Medical outside the radiology department some lady put him in his place we all know some ass took her they raped me too and they sold the book People stated who was in the room. And over 20 people have said stuff to me about the room and people that take the whole case and have that the first one joined me. My life was being Small children in this area, the only thing these local agents have done is to teach them never to trust the FBI again. They look at me and with their family, does these bastards really think they can get away with this? Teenagers call masses where they should be looking like the next step up from the police. Better investigators that are trained. And I'll be to do everything. People are either afraid of them or hate them. And my brother-in-law died working with their agencies as an consultant. And it devastates me. It was my family that lost somebody, not this. And you're helping bastards that hate the government. Where I think we have the greatest nation on earth. Someone does need to come down me and I do need this check out. The nice way. No more bitch so in the neck. I have a dent in the top of my skull this big. Mercy Medical Radiology March of this year. I had a CT with time. You can see the wires into my arm. And a crack coming down off of here and it's swelling behind my ear and it's going into the side of my neck. Because it's pulling and it's a good thing it's pulling because I'd be screaming like crazy. Um, let's see. 
313 of this year, 2.53 p.m. The agency took responsibility for the non-ship, even called the guy a damn bastard, in front of people, patients, audience staff, that someone had done it to me. And the agency took responsibility for the agency did. Praying somebody help me.